With pole rage being one of the most debated and discussed topics within the Pokemon community, I thought I'd share some of my thoughts. Pole rage necessarily have not been great within the Sword and Shield era, but they have progressively gotten better, especially with the latest release of Crown Zenith. I personally think that Pokemon is going into the right direction, giving us the best pull rates and a strong trainer gallery set compared to the other sets within the Sword and Shield era. I feel like Crown Zenith has given us a new perspective on what's to come in Scarlet and Violet as far as pull rates and the trainer galleries. I've seen a few Reddit discussions talking about what they feel like they should get back when buying a Pokemon set and what sets like Crown Zenith and Scarlet and Violet going forward, I think we're going to get the best bang for our buck. The pull rates for Crown Zenith have been absolutely awesome and in turn, we've seen a cheap singles and just a better, more healthy market. And in previous Sword and Shield sets, it has not been easy. Going from battle styles to vivid voltage and it's gotten better to uh, chilling rain and evolving skies and both having a reputation for not having great pull rates. Seeing what they did with Crown Zenith towards the end going into Scarlet and Violet has just been refreshing and I really hope that this is the direction that they will be taking going forward. And I do understand that every set has its own separate pull rates, some better than others. And what I advise to my viewers is that to not expect anything in return. The fun is in the cracking of the packs and the experience. I think that the addition of the trainer gallery has literally saved the Pokemon TCG and it's made us feel like we can get two potential hits even if you don't pull a big altar if you pull a trainer gallery card. At least in my eyes I am stoked and I know some of you are too. At the end of the day we have to remember that this is just for fun. Buying a booster box at 100 bucks or whatever you're going to pay and maybe recouping $50 of that $100 investment is awesome. And to be honest, the Pokemon company really doesn't owe us anything. I'm super stoked for the Scarlet and Violet era. I think that it's going to be the best base set we've ever seen. From the previews of the current Japanese sets that are coming out, I am very excited and I just can't wait to crack those packs open with you guys. I would love to know how you guys feel about the current pull rates within Crown Zenith and what are some of your speculations going forward with the pull rates? Are they going to get better? Are they going to get worse? We also have to remember that the Pokemon TCG is a card based game and players get first priority. Worst pull rates means that the cards that are needed to play the game aren't being pulled and Pokemon sees that as a huge problem. When the pull rates are as good as Crown Zenith, we see what that does to the market. It drives down the singles, allows more product to be sitting on the shelves because it's not being scalped and overall it's just a more healthy community. All this is just my personal opinion and Pokemon can completely throw all of what I just said out the door and revert to the base set of Sword and Shield and then just and then just build back up to an awesome set like Crown Zenith and kind of reward us for sticking around. We don't know. These are all speculations and take what I say with a grain of salt. So yeah, that's just gonna be a quick little rant and I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions and thanks for watching. And until next time, 